Hey hey, what up people? And I'm back. In this tutorial, it's all about headings and uh, headings or headers and their alignment. So, you guys might be wondering, what is this newspaper doing here? And on the first place, why am I even showing you a newspaper? The reason is pretty clear. It's because this entire tutorial is based on headers and this these sorry these right over here are headers this is a header this is a header and this is a header and inside these they are paragraphs and images and even this is a header and even this is a header so moving on guys no matter what type of document you're creating most documents have headings in one form or another newspaper use headlines a uh, headline on the form tells you the purpose of the form let's go to facebook.com for instance this right over here this is a header this is also a header even this is a header so i hope you guys understand by now that what is a header a longer piece of text headings can also help structure a document as you can see the newspaper as you can see the way newspaper is structured in a similar way web pages sorry web pages are also structured there are six types of headers provided in XHTML there are header text one sorry there are header one header two header three header 4, header 5, and header 6. Header 1 element as the largest of the 6 elements. And header 6 is the smallest. Although, we will be discussing that we can rearrange the size of the headers in future tutorials in Cascading Style Sheet, but let's not just get into that for now. Most browsers display header text 1, header text 2, and header text 3 elements greater than that of default size of text in document let me show you guys let's create a paragraph over here and let's name it um, create something okay now let us create header 1 header 2 and header 3 Copy the copy this thing, paste it, paste it, and paste it. Save it, run, launch it Firefox. So, this is your normal paragraph. Let me erase this. Save it, run, launch it Firefox. This is a normal paragraph, and these are your hypertext, as you can see right over here. The font size, the depth, the color is much 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 deeper than that of a paragraph and not even it's not even about the color or the depth it's about the font size the font size is greater than that of default and whereas header 5 and header 6 elements let me just create header 5 and header 6 paste it, paste it in the content of header 5 and header 6 element could be smaller unless you instruct certain things about them in CSS. So as I said, let me not just get into CSS for now. So let us refresh. Now as you observe that this, the font size of this is much 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 greater than that of this and it's definitely greater than this. And we left with just our header 4. So for whom are we waiting for? Let's create a header for Now, save it and again, refresh. These are your all six headers. Let me erase this paragraph, save, refresh, and close it down. Now, a line attribute. What is a line attribute, guys? It basically tells browser to align a particular text there are three properties in the line that is you can align a text at three different positions they are either at left or 
at center or at the right so let me show you guys about the align space align equals you can write left right or center so let's go with center first center now let's refresh it boom it's at the center now let us place this I don't know to what's right align equals right all right sorry about the spelling rgst right refresh now it's at the right hand side of the page now you can even create left it's not gonna make a difference because it is already the text is already aligned towards the left side of the page i hope this tutorial was useful and see you guys in the next tutorial in next tutorial i'll be prob probably covering uh, i don't know phrase elements and your presentation elements and even comments how to give a comment at your web page and trust me guys you have to learn about a comment it's a very 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 important topic and my next tutorial basically it is very important and you do not want to miss it so see you guys in my next tutorial see ya